Hey YouTube, back again with another video. And in this video, we're gonna talk all about Summon. Not Enhanced Summon, just regular Summon. If you wanna see a video on Enhanced Summon, check out my Enhanced Summon playlist. I'll put a card up here in the corner. Now, even regular Summon is a great feature. It's fantastic to have. In a tight garage like mine, I use it often when I'm trying to get both kids in the car or loading the car in. I just summon the car out into the driveway where I have plenty of room to open up the doors fully to allow the kids to jump in. Now, a lot of people don't know how great regular summon is because number one, they don't have a garage or they just never use this feature. While this feature is great, it's not without its issues. I did a video of my Model X using summon back in 2017 and it seems to me like the feature hasn't been upgraded at all or Tesla kind of forgot about this regular summon and they're focusing all their efforts on enhanced summon when some of the issues that I pointed out in this video still haven't been fixed, mainly the incline issue. So when you're trying to summon the car from a driveway like mine, not too big of a slope, but trying to summon it into a garage when it's on a slope it will simply fail. This was true back in 2017 when I did the test using my Model X and also true in 2019 with my Model 3. I am picking on Summon a little bit here because it's been about two years and they still haven't fixed this incline issue. But beyond that, this is a fantastic feature. Depending on the settings you choose, you can have a one button click and your car will open up the garage door automatically pull out into the driveway, park, and then close the garage door. So if you primarily use your front door as an entrance and exit to your house, then this feature is gonna be great for you because your car is gonna be waiting there, right in the driveway, ready to go as soon as you are. You can be brushing your teeth upstairs in your bathroom and have your car waiting for you in the driveway, ready to take you to work, and you can easily, at the same time, turn on the heating or the cooling, depending on the season. Now typically I back into the garage and that's because of where the charger port is located on the Model 3, but I wanted to test summon in both directions. So I pulled in an initiated summon just to see how it would perform going in the backwards direction. And it worked the same as far as activating home link. So the ultrasonic sensors work. It realizes that it's in the garage and it's smart enough to open up the garage door, which is great. Once the garage door is fully up, then the car will start to back out into the driveway and we get a backwards arrow or arrow going down away from the car because the car is going in reverse versus the last time you saw arrow coming out of the front of the car because the car was going forward. And so about the same speed, it is a tight garage here and it does do a great job. I've never had any issues with it uh, getting close to that corner of the garage door there whatsoever. And so once it pulls into the driveway and it parks itself, then it will initiate home link again, completing the summon once the garage door is closed. Now this is a great feature. I think I would use it on a daily basis if my garage was set up differently or if I used the front door as my primary entrance and exit. I wanna point out this slight detail that you might not have noticed. Keep your eye on the front tire. Watch it how when the summon is initiated, it realizes that a corner is right over there and it's gonna turn away from that front corner. I'll show you again, right there, so that the front nose doesn't hit. But here is a summon after I backed out of the garage. And you can see that backing out of the garage, the same thing doesn't happen because the rear wheels don't turn like the front wheels, obviously. It actually ends up in the grass here. Now, like I said previously, I almost always back into the garage just because of where the charge port is on the Model 3. I don't plug in every day, but because I back in every time, I almost thought that the car was smart enough to realize where the driveway was because it would always summon forward and be on the driveway, never in the grass, and almost like it turned away from the grass a little bit, but that was only because the ultrasonic sensors told the car where the corner was in the driveway. Other than that adjustment that you saw previously, there is no other adjustment and it pulls straight forward and then closes the garage door. Back to the incline issue. 
I tried multiple times to initiate a summon with the car in the driveway, and I just was not able to get it no matter how close I pulled up to the driveway or how far I backed down out of the driveway. I tried this in forward and in reverse and was not able to get the car to initiate the summon whenever it was in the driveway on a slight incline. Although it's been about two years and they still haven't updated the incline issue for summon, what's great about owning a Tesla is it just takes an over the year update and they're gonna fix this issue. I mean, what other car company can do this over the air? Or for that matter, no other car company wants to update older models. They all wanna push you into a newer car rather than updating their older cars. I'm curious if any of you guys out there who have a steep driveway or a driveway at a slight incline like mine, and you've had a similar issue when trying to use summon on an incline, please let me know down in the comment section below. I also wanted to give a shout out to those of you who have recently subscribed. Thank you so much for deciding to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button if you wanna be notified every time I upload another video. If you're looking for another way to support the channel, check me out on Patreon. If you're a Tesla owner, I hope you get out there and try the summon feature for yourself. Let me know what you get in the comments below. If you're in the market for a new or leased Tesla, now's a great time to buy because you can actually get 1,000 miles of free supercharging with any new purchase or lease of a Tesla Model S, 3, or X. Follow the link down in the description below and you're gonna be on your way to your new car with just a couple of clicks. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.